Hey everybody, it's Eric Holmgren, your ambassador at large for the Placentia Chamber of Commerce. And today I am joined by Tiffany Davila of Face Painting by Tiffany. Hi! How are you doing today, <laughs> Tiffany? I'm doing good, thank you. Terrific, it's always wonderful to see you. You're always chipper and cheerful. Um, and so we wanted to talk a little bit about how did you get involved in face painting of all things? Uh, great story. Um, I have been a licensed cosmetologist for 14 years now, and I was in a time in my life where I was trying to find my faith. And I was going to St. Martin de Porres, and they do the big Oktoberfest right. every year, and somebody asked me, do you do face painting? I said, no, but I know how to do makeup, can't be that much different, and so I jumped right in, I started doing it, and then year after year, for about five years, they I started doing my research and people started asking me, do you do private parties? Do you do birthday parties? And I said, no, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> and um, about three years ago, I quit my full-time job and have been doing this full-time. Okay, so yeah. is this your first business then? This is my first business, yes. Okay. All by myself. <laughs> Well, and that is, has its own benefits and, yes. and, and it's also its detractions as well. Then. Yes, exactly. So, well, it sounds like uh, you, it's been going fairly well for you the last, well, of course, now that the pandemic situation is getting a little yeah. bit better. Yes. Right. So I had a full year doing parties and everything and building my business and then it kind of went to a complete halt. But I always knew how to sew. So since I was in high school, so I made a ton of masks and then parties started slowly picking up again so that people still wanted to party, I'll go party. So. <laughs> well, good, yes. And I have some of the masks that you made for my yeah, business. Yes, yes. Then. Those were great. Uh -huh. So I'm glad we don't need them as much now. No. So <laughs> that's much better. Well, good. So um, with your with your business, tell me a little bit about the different services that you do in Absolutely. case there's anyone who's new to the channel. So I have been a face painter for 10 years. So when I decided to go full time and I thought I needed to bring more platforms of services to my business. So I started offering balloon twisting, balloon animals. Um, and airbrush tattoos. And an airbrush tattoo is an alcohol-based paint that looks like a real tattoo but and waterproof, but it'll wash right off in a okay. couple days. So um, those are fun. Those are more of an adult gear type event thing, right. but they're fun. I love it. A okay. little tricky sometimes, but... <laughs> <laughs> and then when you're doing your parties, are they usually like a, an hour block or yes. something like that? Okay. So I offer a, quite a few different packages depending on the amount of kids and what what they want. So I'll have a one hour of either face painting or balloons. And then I'll do, if it's say 20 kids, I'll do two hours of face painting only. I do offer a combo package. And right now combo artists are very scarce. So. I do one hour of face painting and one hour of balloon twisting, and you're getting two services out of one artist. Okay. And a lot of people are going for that right now because they want more bang for their buck. Okay, good. And with the sort of, uh, uh, it sounds like you do some stuff for adults, what's the youngest age group that you usually do for parties for kids? I do a lot of one-year-old birthday parties. Oh, really? Right okay. now, there are a lot of two-year-old birthday parties, hence last year, but... Um, I just did a huge over the top two year old birthday party. <laughs> they probably spent 20 grand. It was out, oh of, my out of control. And I've done, you know, little tiny parties at the park. Right. I mean, it's not anything within the client's budget that I can't work Find around. Work exact, around. Exactly. And, um, I travel depending on distance. Um, I've gone as far as Phoenix sometimes. Oh, wow. But I like to keep it as local as possible. Sure. Yeah. I do a lot of markets, a lot of vendor events. Okay. Private parties. <laughs> okay. I'm doing events with big high-end clients. Wow. Tomorrow I've got the chargers. Oh, exciting. exciting. <laughs> yes. So I've done quite a few big things. Sounds great. Yes. So uh, as you know, with our little chamber chats, we're uh -huh. usually trying to talk with folks about 
business challenges they have. Yes. So what is a business problem or business challenge that you're facing? Currently, it's duplicating myself. Okay. Um, I have come quite across a, quite a few clients that want what I offer, but I'm already booked. And what I do is I refer them to other artists in the area that are at the same quality level that I am or offer the same services. Um, but I haven't come across a person that I can, say, put on my payroll that I can fulfill their schedule as much as mine. Okay. So it's training, it's finding the right person, the right passion, somebody as much energy and <laughs> look that I've got. <laughs> I think that's going to be hard to fill yeah, that particular niche there, yes. But yeah, I mean, that would be my one thing. And right now also is finding uh, a lot of combo artists. A lot of people aren't twisting balloons and face painting. And it's hard, hard to find those artists that are available right now. Right. A lot of them have moved out of state. A lot of them have found other occupations. Sure. It's just, I talk to who I can and try to network through that, through that industry as well. Right. So uh, if you were to look for, or where would you think that you would be able to find people like that? Is it other people that are cosmologists? Is it people that are tattoo artists? I mean, what is the, what's kind of the, I have, the, the yeah. background that you're looking for if you were going to find someone yeah. to like train to yes. make Tiffany Mark II kind of a thing? Um, so I found a lot of people that make up artists. There's a lot of people in our industry that are graphic designers. And so I think it's having a creative background that really has a lot to do with finding other passions that are creative also. So like mine was doing hair, but then I found passion in painting. And you know, all those things are just creative outlets, but I've also able to find an income for myself or a second, you know, when it was a side job, a second income. Right, so, so for somebody that you might bring on board, mm -hmm. It could be that it's just a little side gig. Exactly. So maybe a, a student who's mm -hmm. a, an art student of yep. some sort, either the local college or even high school, mm -hmm. someone who's got a good, engaging personality. Yes. And <laughs> yes. Now, do they have to have their hair done quite the same as no. you? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> then I might have a chance. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can we throw a bow on it, though? Oh, okay, yes. You can put a bow on it <laughs> yes. there. Or maybe a feather, yes. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> well, good. Um, so, yeah, so so those are some different things. Yes. Okay. And in order for you to take your business much further, do you really see that that's the next thing that you really need to do is kind of focus on finding somebody? I'm not super focused on it right now, but maybe in a year or two. Um, coming out of the pandemic, I'm really trying to shoot my goals at you know being kind of put back by the last year pushing what i wanted to do last year this year and then kind of going forward with where it's going to take me okay yeah so getting myself more out in front of the public and then also booking those private okay crazy private parties yeah well and then but this wouldn't be a bad time to start maybe mm -hmm. finding some people oh, yeah. or or having people refer people to you exactly. because two years will pass like that mm -hmm. as we know and you don't want to start looking two years from now for somebody that it sounds like it takes a while to learn it how does. to do this yeah it's in i'm not gonna say it but all the paints all the brushes all the equipment is not cheap it is if you want to do it right it there's there's some sunk costs. Some in, costs yeah. involved, yes. Okay. Plus, actually, knowing how to do it with a, a amount of proficiency. Absolutely. So, well, cool. Yes. Well, Tiffany, it's been fascinating Thank chatting you. with you. Thank you, Eric. Learning more about your business <laughs> and your background and everything else that's going on. Yay. Before we sign off, yes, sir. is there anything else you'd like to share with the Chamber community? If you got skin, I'll paint it. <laughs> Well, that's about 100% of the people, hopefully. <laughs> yes. So, Tiffany, it's always wonderful Thank to see you. you. And until our next episode, be well. <laughs>